Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross tutorial video with me. Uh, as you have seen in the title of this video, this is a new set of information for Valkyrie Operation. I will categorize it as advanced information because it's something that is above the normal understanding of Valkyrie Operations as a, in general. Alright, so let's talk about the... Um, Diva operations, that is the most important thing about um, Valkyrie operations as of now. As you can see, I'm currently having to go through Ranka's operations and I'm trying to level her up to the max level, uh, of course, to gain the better rewards. Um, yeah, so I do have uh, one team on standby just for Ranka. So yeah, and hopefully the rest of them will clear by the time I explain <laughs> certain things. Alright, so first thing to note for the advanced information, as you can see, I have Ranka on my main screen. That was pretty much how I got her Valkyrie operation to appear in the first place. So yes, guys, take note. The main diva on your screen will withdraw out the operation for that particular diva, especially if you want to collect Kawawa dolls for that diva's costume, uh, it is very important that you have them out on your main screen. It doesn't matter what um, affection level they are, alright, um, you just have to have them on the screen. But do take note, as you can see, my, my Ranka is currently at level 40, which is max affections. Um, do take note. The affection level does play a part on how um, consistent you get to pull out the diva operation for that particular diva itself. Um, let's say for example if I were to use a level 1 um, Sharon Gnome, okay? I, sadly to say all my divas have a certain amount of level, they are definitely above level 10. So um, yeah, uh, I therefore I can't justify with a video footage saying that um, you know if your diva's affection is low in level um, you can't get the diva's operation out as quickly as we want to um, yeah but that is the case as I've um, asked around on Facebook if you guys are not even the group across space time the culture I highly recommend you to join uh, the fandom there the family of fans uh, the link is in the description below as every video I have mentioned I will always leave that link there in general because it is the group that I am administrating um, and I'm handling a lot of posts over there so guys uh, do join the fandom over there we have lots of fun friends all over the world um, coming around talking about Macross in general alright so um, a few of the fans on the Facebook group have helped me out with this research uh, I'll, I'll do a shout out for you guys at the end of the video so guys um, it is confirmed that having the diva out on your main page does improve your chances of getting the divas operation out into the Valkyrie operation screen so for now I am going to show you guys uh, how I'm going to level up the Ranka's um, Valkyrie Operation. Uh, I think I did do it in the previous video for the basic tutorials, but I'm just going to do it again uh, just to clarify things with you guys. Um, there is one other thing that you need to know because while, um, while testing a lot of it um, during this uh, ticketing period, um, which is the best period to actually um, obtain a lot of operations for Valkyrie operations. If you want to uh, uh, unlock a lot of Kawawa dolls, I would highly recommend you to do it during ticketing events because you get to play uh, extra lives uh, due to the event tickets uh, given to you. So yeah, um, that is pretty handy uh, to have all the extra plays uh, with the tickets because you don't have to spend um, energy ethers to refresh your energy or using your singing stones your precious singing stones to refill your energy that kind of thing so ticketing events is the best period to actually uh, boost or stock up on Valkyrie operation uh, resources um, like the um, Kawawa dolls or even like the Reina's uh, hacker skull to help you clear Valkyrie operations much faster that kind of thing so here is the other thing that we learned 
um, from the fans on Facebook and of course uh, with a lot of uh, playtesting on my own personal time um, you can actually change out your diva let's say for example I'm gonna switch out to uh, I mean I'm gonna switch up Freya right now okay um, even even though I have Ranka's Valkyrie operation already on um, the Uta Hime operation pad alright and I have Freya out on the main screen I am still able to level up Ranka's uh, operation because this is a theory um, that has been tested by me and of course some of the other people who have experienced it for themselves as long as this timer exists this pink color timer exists you will not obtain any other Utahime operation until you have sent a team of Valkyries out onto this mission by pressing this blue button here. So that said, you will only continue to level up this Valkyrie operation or the rather Utahime operation until its max level uh, has capped. It, let's say for example because your Divas affection is not as high as my Rankas, um, the max level for the operation probably might be like um, two skulls or three skulls depending on the affection level um, my Freya is currently uh, as as of just now what you've seen she's currently level 31 for affection and she is able to max level her uh, uh, Utahime operation to level 5 yep, level 5 she does have five skulls on her operations at um, 30, level 31 affection in fact she has been able to do that since um, she was affection level 25 so I think that that is the range of the uh, divas affection that you need uh, them to be to have that max level difficulty okay so I'm gonna max level Ranka's um, Utahime uh, operation right now so guys uh, do take note I have Freya on my main screen so we're gonna play through some of the lives I'm gonna do this as you can see I've been working very hard with uh, finding out Valkyrie operation and that's why I am currently rank 87 <laughs> and 8 hours to go <laughs> so that's how much I have been playing guys just for Valkyrie operations um, yeah I, I have to say um, thank you to Valkyrie operations for making me do so well <laughs> in the ticketing event um, it has been a very rough ride um, I didn't expect to uh, hit within the, the the top 100 placing at all so guys yeah let's do this uh, I'm gonna fast forward all the gameplay videos just for time sake Okay, so as you can see here, I have finally completed maxing out Ranka's uh, Valkyrie operation. Um, okay, here is the other information that I have found out while playing a lot of this. Um, <laughs> if you have the timer running here, this pink color one here, and you have not sent this Valkyrie operation out um, with a team to complete it, no matter how much you play after it has max level, you will not obtain any new Utahime operations at all. So I'm going to waste away all my remaining tickets and energy that you see in the top bar um, just to prove this point to you guys. So by right, with Freya out currently on my main screen, I should be able to obtain a Freya Val uh, Utahime operation. So let's do this. I'm going to prove to you guys by wasting away all my energies and tickets. Uh, okay, I have no more tickets. So I'm going to waste away my energies um, just to prove a point that you know you will not obtain any more Utahime operations as long as that timer still exists. That pink color timer, mind you. Alright, so let's do this. I'm gonna try and obtain more tickets in the meantime. So yeah.
All right, so I've wasted away 30 energy just like that. Um, let's take a look to see whether we gain any of the operations. So as you can see, no notifications at all for Valkyrie operation. Uh, let's go take a look. All right, so as you can see, nothing new has been added at all. So that proves the point that as long as you don't send out a team um, for that particular operation, you will not be able to receive any new Uta Hime operations at all. So guys, this information might be a bit redundant for some of you, um, but it is very crucial information as to why a eh, Let's say for example, you've been playing non-stop and like, hey, why am I not getting any operation messages um, at all? Then you realize, oh crap, I didn't send a team out. You know, so you've been wasting away all your precious energy and your resources like energy ethers and all that that you've been refreshing your energy to play. So yes guys, take note of this. And of course, let's say for example, you've piled out a ton of Utahime operations and you don't want to receive any more of them. Um, it's always good to have this information in mind so that you can play around uh, with the way that uh, it's most comfortable for you guys. Alright, so I'm going to send out a team for Ranka's operation as of now. Okay. And we're going to move on to uh, proving the point that you can actually get the particular Divas operation uh, with them on the main screen. Okay, so here we go. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I need to tell you regarding Valkyrie operations. If you take note of this flashing red light, mainly it means that your planes, your team, doesn't meet the requirements as of here. As you can see, Ranka's operations tend to have a higher HP requirement. Yeah, because she's a support character, so that's why she does have a lot of HP requirement from her uh, team of pilots. So as you can see, my HP requirement does not meet while the attack requirement does meet. That's why there's this flashing red uh, text of Kanji here. So yeah guys, uh, you can still tap to send out your team. Uh, it's just that when they don't meet the requirements, you take note, the timer that it actually needs to complete this mission or operation is 7 hours and 30 minutes, but it has now been increased to 10 hours and 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, there is a way to reduce the timer. Basically, is you you all have all you have to do is meet the requirements of the mission, the operation itself. As you can see, if I were to give it, if I were to go into the fighter mode, the red flashing tax is here. But if I were to go into the gear walk mode, it increases my HP. This is what it means. So HP up. So you can see I have gone a. Uh, I've gotten a gigantic boost of HP and now my team meets the requirements and the timer is now reduced to 6 hours and 45 minutes uh, which is fantastic. So if I were to go to battle right mode once again I do not meet the requirements and of course the timer is a bit different from fighter mode. As you can see uh, battle right mode there is a duration of 10 hours and 33 minutes while gear walk is 10 hours, I know, fighter mode is uh, 10 hours and 11 minutes. So it really depends on what you want to obtain because I think the timer is increased mainly because of the rarity of the resources that you can actually gain from that um, Valkyrie's mode. So because when you gain the HP up, there is no rewards for this particular version, it's just the set boost, so therefore you don't have any special rewards and then of course you can meet the requirements. So I'm going to send it into the gear walk mode. Because um, by having the requirements met, uh, and of course sending a team that has the um, special rate up completion, um, if you send a pilot from the particular series like Ranka is from Macross Frontier, so if you send a plane that is from Macross Frontier, there is a chance for you to get a great success after the end of the mission. Alright, so okay, here is the other thing that I need to talk about. Um, if you want to gain more Kawawa dolls, which is better to complete? A full maxed out level or a low level um, Utahime operation? Now honestly, um, I personally feel that it would be better if you go with a mid range level um, Utahime operations, um, roughly around level 3 to level 4. Um, the, some, there are some Japanese out there who have actually tested sending out um, your teams of pilots 
uh, on level 1 Utahime operations and of course um, the results were that maybe out of 5 missions that you send for level 1s um, you probably might get only 3 Kawawa dolls so it is not generally um, proven that sending low level um, Utahime operations is the best option but it is the fastest way to gain Kawawa dolls in terms of waiting durations as you can see maxed out level um, Utahime operations takes about um, 7 hours or so 7 to 8 hours depending um, if you actually meet the requirements and all that so yeah uh, com as compared to level 1 Utahime operations that take roughly about an hour to complete so if you were to time 7 of them, uh, so 7 chances as compared to 1 maxed out level. Um, so probably you might get 5 Kawawa dolls. But of course you have to consider that you know, um, the maxed out level Utahime operations, um, when they do get great success, your Kawawa dolls rewards might go up from 1 to 5 uh, pieces in general. So. It really weighs uh, on your own time of uh, patience, I guess. Let's say for example, if you're busy with work or school um, and you don't really have the time to keep playing and sending out your teams or pilots for Kawawa dolls in level 1s or level 3s, having them maxed out uh, your Utahime operations might be the most um, beneficial method for you to play. So it really depends on your schedule and your free time. If you really want to uh, maximize the the chances of getting Kawawa dolls for uh, ranking up your costumes in the Kawawa rank system. Okay, guys. So I have one other information here. Uh, as you can see, I just did this after the after the whole Ranka uh, explanation portion. So I have Rina here maxed out with her Valkyrie operation. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna complete this by sending out a team. But the only team I have here with the series bonus um, has this red flashing icon at the top which says here that I do not meet the requirements. 480 strength, 480 HP. So you can see my units are not of that requirement but I am still able to tap the pink button and send my team out. But strangely enough, because of the fighter mode that increases HP and attack points, I am now able to meet their requirements and possibly getting a, a great success clearance. So guys, this is what I mean by uh, even though you don't meet the requirements, you are still able to send out your Valkyries and your teams to do the um, D.Va operation or operation in general. You can send them out, but they, they do come back with um, maybe a probably a normal success instead of a great success. So yeah, if you take a look here, I, as I change mode, if they don't meet the requirements, the timer increases. Yeah, so that's basically all you have to take note for all these um, unmet requirements for uh, Valkyrie operations. So I'm going to send out my team and of course they're going to return um, later hopefully with a success or a great success uh, outcome. So guys, if you have paid attention to all the details so far, uh, you would have probably noticed this when I mentioned the title of the operation itself. So yeah, there are colored Japanese kanji text. Uh, and of course there is this one as well. Sadly to say I've only got two of them so far here within my variety of operations. But I'll show you a sh an image here of all the four different variations of operations that are available within Valkyrie operations itself. And what they are actually supposed to mean. So as you can see uh, on the screen right now, um, this is the most common one that you will probably see within the daily operations and even maybe diva operations itself. Now, what does this actually mean when it comes to um, completing these such operations? Let's take a look at this one which is the normal operation, normal type if you want to say it um, more detailedly. Alright, so if you go into this uh, where you send out your Valkyries accordingly to whichever form or variations of the plane itself. 
you take note that each of the forms have a resource item glowing at the top. Now, this is what it means by normal operations. Basically, you can send the Valkyries in any form whatsoever and you'll be able to get a reward from it um, just like that. So basically, the normal variations of combat are resource hunting um, operations. So if you need materials for powering up your episode plates and what that. Uh, so yeah, this is basically what it means. Now if you take a look at the other one that I have, the yellow one. Alright, so basically this one is specialization for ground combat. Now ground combat, there are two forms that actually um, help out uh, in terms of getting um, resources or completing the operation. And of course, if you take a look at fighter, uh, fighter is not exactly a ground combat um, savvy uh, form. So let's go on to the next one, which is uh, gear walk, uh, gear walk, basically I call it. So uh, yeah, it has that stat boost, stat boost for your HP, uh, as I mentioned previously in other parts of the video, or uh, maybe in the further part of the video. I can't recall which side of the video I mentioned about it, but. Yeah, you get what I mean. So it gives you the stats that, let's say, for example, you do your your team does not meet the uh, operation requirements and it needs a stat boost. So yeah, this is what it means. Then of course, like I said, Battle Royale does help uh, in ground combat as well. So do they also give you rarer resources that you can obtain from the operation itself? Now I don't have the other two operations um, currently in my list of. Um, operations available to complete but you get the gist of it whichever um, operation type that you get um, they will definitely have that special resource attached to the top of the form that is most beneficial for that particular operation so basically that's it um, in regards to all these different forms of uh, operations I would say generally as long as you meet the requirements for the operation itself these texts really do not matter <laughs> the only thing you really need to matter or be concerned about is basically the rewards and the stats requirements for the operation itself so basically you don't really need to be very bothered about what they actually specifically mean uh, in general so but if you wish to have yourself uh, fully knowledgeable about such details to its finest points I guess this is what this information is meant for <laughs> but seriously uh, don't be so much bothered about it um, all right so here is the other thing I'm gonna mention to you guys it's my advice to you guys uh, as for myself uh, since I've been playing a lot during this ticketing event and I've experienced quite a bit about Valkyrie operations as of now uh, as by now um, so if you guys have been um, setting up your Valkyrie teams like I did in the past well what do I mean by that well you can see that I've actually retitled the teams uh, for my Valkyries uh, accordingly to generation so the first one of course is Gen 1 Macross Gen 2 Macross 7 then Gen 3 Macross Frontier Gen 4 and Gen 5 will be Delta well, number 5 is spare, so kind of like that. So anyway guys, in the past I used to set up my teams accordingly to generations. So all the teams from, all the planes from that generation will be in one team and then so on and so forth. Then sooner or later I realized I ran out of planes for that generation uh, to get the great success up and I couldn't complete my operations as quickly as possible for the day and ended up wasting a lot of operations um, undone so guys here is my hint and advice to you don't set up your teams or valkyries accordingly to one specific generation of macross now what i've done is basically if you can see here i've set up the team accordingly with um three different generations of valkyries from two G three generations of macross series so first generation with heikaru second generation with uh, milane uh, then of course there's elto you know so that kind of thing so all my teams right now are set up in that manner so with all three different generation pilots uh, in each slot 
you know. So whenever I need that series bonus, yeah, so you need to send out a particular generation. Um, let's say because this one is Macross uh, first gen, you need a first gen Macross pilot within the team itself. You just need one. You don't need all three slots to be filled up with from the generation. You know, just having one alone will give you that chance of great success, as you can see here in the Japanese text. You just need one of them. So the rest of the other planes can be from other generations. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar by now, um, if you take a look here, Gen 1, Chojikyu Yosai Macross or Super Dimension Macross, Super Dimension Fortress Macross as you guys probably be more familiar with. Sadly to say, there's only three Valkyries available. We have uh, Hikaru's, uh, Media and Max. Then for Fire Bomber 7, of course, Macross 7, we have Basara, Miren and Gamlin, which I do not have, so I am currently short of one for Macross 7. So, yeah, so having one plane less is kind of a bother uh, whenever it comes to clearing Macross 7 missions. Uh, yeah, it's a very big pain in the ass. So, anyway, <laughs> guys, uh, Macross Frontier and Macross Delta are the only two series with the most amount of Valkyries available. So guys, play around, be flexible, slot in uh, Valkyries from Frontier and Delta um, alongside with Macross 7 and Macross itself uh, to balance out the amount of um, teams you can send out for those particular generation operations. Uh, available in your list as of now. Alright, so let's go out to the main screen. I am going to try and pull another Ranka Utahime operation. I'm going to switch out Freya right now for Ranka. And we're going to do this. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to tap Ranka just for good luck. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to refresh my energy as well because I have no more um, energy. I have some tickets here, but one ticket just to prove a point is a bit risky. So I'm going to refresh my energy here. Yeah. So if you're wondering how many singing stones I've spent so far for this event, wait for my <laughs> other video talking about how I got into top 100. Um, that will probably explain to you how in the world I got into top 100 and how much energy ethers or energy, uh, singing stones that I wasted on this event and testing out Valkyrie operations in general. Yeah, it's one hell of a ride. So guys, uh, I'll see you um, right after this gameplay. Okay, so I'm glad this happened. Now, as you can see, I did not get Ranka's uh, Utahime operation off the bat. Uh, instead, I got Milene's, uh, Milene, uh, that's why we want to pronounce her name. I know that I've been butchering her name for some time. Uh, someone has corrected me before, <laughs> but I just felt comfortable with Milene, uh, Milene, uh, however you want to pronounce it. I know the Japanese re reads it as uh, Milene, Milene. So, um, yeah, I know the Japanese pronunciation is closest to the original uh, pronunciation of her name. So, yeah, I'm glad this happened because, like I said before, um, having your Utahime out on the main screen does grant you a higher chance of obtaining the Utahime's um, operation, uh, the Divas operation, but it does not guarantee you so. So, there is a chance that other divas um, operations will appear um, but of course it also helps to improve your chances of getting the particular divas operation out if they are on the main screen of course the affection level does play an important part as well i do not know what uh, affection level you need to be to guarantee you a higher chance of that divas operation appearing because for me personally uh, Ranka and Reina are currently the only maxed out divas I have while the rest of them are on mid tier levels except for Freya. Freya is now currently in the 30, level 30 um, affection level. Previously when I started testing out uh, all this Valkyrie operation stuff she was only 25 
um, and then the rest of them are all like level 11, level 14 because um, I have been compiling um, video recordings of the affection items for those particular divas which I'll be making a video very soon probably right after this one so guys look forward to that as well um, then yeah so as you can see my my uh, operation for Milen, Milen um, is not of a max level because her affection isn't maxed out or reaching level 25 or 30 so yeah she is on the lower level of affection that's why her difficulty level only maxes out at level 3 all right so um, I don't want to level up Milen's, Milen's. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stick with Milen because it's the most comfortable with me so um, I'm sorry guys if I have been butchering her name by pronouncing it this way uh, I know I'm wrong, uh, at the same time I want to feel comfortable pronouncing uh, her name so I'm just gonna stick with it so um, yeah I'm gonna stick with Milene and okay so I'm gonna send out a team I think I have, yeah I do have one more team ready um, there we have, I'm gonna send uh, I'm gonna send this team out for her because I want to obtain um, Ranka's operations as soon as possible hopefully with the next one um, yeah just to show you guys that okay um, yeah you can actually obtain diva operations with the main character uh, with the main diva of your choice on the main screen itself uh, guys do take note the diva in your team for playing a life it does not affect the chances of um, obtaining diva operations at all it doesn't um, it only the, on, the only thing that affects it is actually the diva on the main screen so let's try pulling Ranka's operation out uh, again so if you're wondering why do I keep playing uh, God Bless You it's mainly because I have perfect full combo the very hard before so I'm just trying to clear the rewards from the amount of times that I play the song okay so um, while waiting for the gameplay <laughs> or rather to pull out a diva operation um, here's a little interesting tip or rather not tip here's a little, little interesting fact here um, all these gameplay recordings that I'm currently showing you guys um, I have been recording them off my MacBook um, via mirroring um, my iPhone to my MacBook screen and when I do recordings like this, whenever I do a gacha video uh, recording or whenever I do a gameplay video recording, um, I don't actually have music playing from the game because if I turn on the volume for the recording on my MacBook for the screen recording, um, that song or the sounds will be recorded in my voice recording um, application I'm using uh, Audacity. So I'm sure most of you guys who do video contents as well would know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I try to do my voice recording without any background sound. So it's a separate audio file. And hence, all my gameplay recordings have me playing without music. So this is basically how I play when I'm at work as well because I don't want my colleagues to know I'm playing games, uh, especially music games that they are um, alien about. Um, especially when it comes to Japanese songs because um, now the thing is most people are into K-pop so Japanese pop or uh, J-pop is long gone within my country and it's now not the in thing so when people hear Japanese pop they straight away think oh this fella is an otaku so <laughs> um, yes I, I admit I am an otaku but um, I try to keep things peaceful for others because I don't want to disturb them um, while they're doing their stuff or even talking with other colleagues so I usually play my games uh, quietly in a corner um, so I play the game without having music on I don't hear the notes tapping I don't hear the music so yeah um, but you know when I play uh, because I've played the song so many times, I remember the song by its tune and I can actually hum the music while I'm playing or wh when I'm playing, I think of the song so that I, I can hit the notes more accurately uh, as if I'm like, actually listening to the music itself. So guys, this is pretty much how I train playing Utah Macross. 
um, as you can see, I am touching all the perfects and extremes um, without the song. <laughs> uh, missing once in a while. Um, if I'm very tired, I definitely will miss. Um, but if I am freshly awake and all that, my focus will be definitely a lot uh, better. So yeah, guys, this is really a good way to train yourself uh, when it comes to hitting those accurate notes. Just looking at the screen without the songs and tapping away so you don't get distracted by other stuff. Okay, so finally, after so many rounds of God Bless You, I've finally gotten Ranka's Utahime operation out. As you can see, we did get Ranka's Utahime out. Okay, so here is another interesting advanced tip. Do you guys notice that there are two different titles for Ranka's Utahime operation? As you can see, the one that we sent out here and here, both have different titles in Japanese text. Now, here is the other thing that I have noticed while playtesting Valkyrie operations countless times throughout this whole ticketing event. Each diva has only two different operation titles. So as you can see, we've already gotten both titles out for Ranka. Now, if I want to try and get another Ranka operation out after sending a team for this one, it is impossible to. And then after that, you'll notice that you'll be obtaining all the other Divas operations instead of Rankas uh, countlessly, even after you send both of them out for um, mission completion. So guys, take note, each Diva only has two uh, Utahime operation titles. The number at the back, the Roman numeral number at the back, basically means the level of the Utahime operation. As you can see, this one is 5 in, or V. Uh, Roman numeral 5 and yeah, because it's le uh, max level 5 and this one is 1 because it's only 1 so guys I'm going to um, send out Ranka's Diva operation at level 1 alright I'm gonna show you guys the, the luck rate for uh, obtaining the Kiawawa doll you know, with level 1 okay so, just for this, I am going to use up my uh, item for completing the operation. Um, do take note, the longer duration you have on the operation itself, let's say for example this one, 6 hours, okay? Um, instead of using the item, they will ask you to use singing stones. Um, mainly because the duration does, or rather the duration is too long to use the the uh, remaining amounts of items that you have that's why they ask you for singing stones instead and to complete the 6 hour duration you need 35 singing stones which is very hefty so guys um, using that item itself this one if you don't know what item I'm talking about let's take a look at here it is this one this hacker skull item that uh, is very well known for Reina um, yeah if you look at my Kawa dolls I have an influx of Freya because <laughs> initially I had Freya as my main diva, so it's ridiculously a lot. Uh, I can actually power up two uh, two uh, Freya costumes to the max <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so I'm gonna complete Ranka's one just for the sake of demonstration. So here you go. Okay, and we're gonna see how the rate of uh, obtaining the Kiawa dolls gonna be like. So because I got a great success, I did I do get two pieces of the Kiawa dolls. So if you do have a lot of luck uh, in your life uh, and you want to make use of it and a lot of time, going with the level one method of obtaining Kiawa dolls might be the most um, beneficial for you. As for me, because I am quite busy with work and all this, I tend to usually go with um, the maxed out level and I also want the gigantic crystals you know for the Kawawa rank costume upgrade so yeah it really weighs on yourself whether you want the um, Kawawa, do Kawawa dolls faster or do you want these crystals to help you level up the costumes 
um, which is very hard to come by honestly so um, for me personally I will always hunt for this Kyo Dose is just like a bonus that comes with it and of course the pilot medals um, that comes with the um, maxed out level diva operations guys there is one other thing I forgot to mention um, when I had the other Ranka operation here <laughs> is that when both Ranka operations are maxed out uh, I will have a screenshot here um, of the previous time that I had both of them out. Now, each diva has two operation titles if you remember what I said just now. Each title contains a particular pilot's medal. So if you are a fan of the particular pilot and you want to collect a ton of the medals, you need to hunt for that diva's operation. I will have a list here. Now, a Japanese fan has already compiled all the medals related to whichever diva's operation uh, or rather they, they didn't write the title of the operation in fact so they just write the medals belonging to that Utahime's operation so guys I know the names are in Japanese uh, I'm gonna have my own version of the English names of the characters below the Japanese names just for you guys sake um, yeah, so take note of this. This is very important. If you want to hunt a particular pilot's medal, um, yeah, this is probably the most important chart for you. For me, I would love to have a ton of Mirage's medals <laughs> in my collection. Uh, let's see. I don't think I... Yeah, you can't view the medals here, so you have to go to your profile page. So let's take a look at the profile page right now. Um, and see what medals I currently have. As you can see, I've been spamming a lot of Freya, so yeah, that 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 medal will probably be a ton. Okay, let's scroll all the way down because that's where they are. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So here, I wait, wait here. Okay, so as you can see, I have a ton of Hayate because <laughs> I've been doing a lot of Freya. Um, then of course there is a Mirage as well. Which is fantastic. So I think Freya's operations give Mirage and Hayate. That's why they have the most. And of course, Reina will give you Makina and Bo. <laughs> yes, all the the Bo uh, Bo X Ray Ray fans out there. Then Rankas will give you Elto and Brera. So yeah, the two two most important men in her life. Uh, set for Osma. <laughs> you know, it should have been like Osma and Brera because the only Chan collection. But anyway, guys, um, I think I've covered most of the information for Valkyrie Operation here. All right, um, there is one other thing I need to talk about um, regarding the daily and weekly missions. Um, okay, so for example, like I've I already completed all the weekly missions, as you can see, so I can't explain Hello. with this. But the most important one would be the daily. Now, daily missions, you don't have to complete all of them. In fact, I think the Utahime operations are more important than the daily ones. But of course, the daily ones that give the super rare resources such as the gigantic uh, cross stone or maybe even like uh, mini cross stones or sometimes if you are hungry for um, in-game currency or maybe the, you know, episode plates. Now, the episode plates are pretty common. Um, they, are, they are usually like... Um, level 1, uh, two, 1 star, 2 star episode plates. Um, the most rare you can get is probably 3 star. Um, but honestly speaking, the episode plates are really not worth your time. Yeah, I think the most important stuff that you want to get from your dailies are the, the episode plate um, materials, the cross stones, you know, and of course the in-game currency if you are lacking of it, but I've got like a ton of it so you can see that I don't really need that. Um, of course the cross stones are the, one of the most important stuff, then of course the episode plate materials as well. So that's why I would highly recommend completing at least those um, diva or rather utahime, no, not utahime, <laughs> daily operations. Uh, and of course those missions that give away singing stones, those are very important as well, especially if you're a free player. So yeah, collecting singing stones for from uh, Valkyrie operations is very essential for anybody out there, including free players and paid to play players. This is very important. Uh, make sure you clear all those operations that give all the singing stones and stuff. So guys, um, there is one other thing I need to talk about. I'll show you a clip here. Um, 
which basically shows me um, before the reset of the day for the game, um, I actually pick up an operation from a daily mission list that I have not completed yet. And when I send my team out, okay, before the day resets, and after it resets, that particular operation still stays on with the whole new list of um, daily operations as you can see. Um, it is very important to remember this because let's say for example, there are some of the durations that really require 12 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours and you don't really have a lot of time to play. So clearing those very important um, daily missions at the last minute uh, selectively it is very important. So, um, if you're wondering why my daily um, missions are of such high level, it's because when you unlock Kawawa rank costumes um, to rank, I think three or yeah three. As long as you have one of your costumes enter into rank three, there is this um, screenshot or rather this pop-up window. They will announce that your daily uh, operations are now leveled up from level 2 to level 3 that kind of thing um, you can get all these power-ups for your daily operations via um, Kawara ranking and I think there is also the diva diva rank um, max capacity also by unlocking via diva affection so there are two different ways of leveling up Utahime's uh, sorry, not two, not two different ways. Uh, there are two methods of leveling up um, operation difficulties. One for Utahime operations and the other one for daily operations. So guys, make sure you rank up your Kawawa rank or rather your costumes you know, um, to level up your daily operation levels to get you better rewards. Of course, with better rewards, it means longer duration times. And of course, Utahime max level capacity will definitely reward you with pilot medals, um, larger cross stones, and of course, sometimes rarer um, rewards like um, lucky stones. Um, and I think there are, there are other stuff that they gave as well. Uh, so far, I've only seen myself obtaining um, a small lucky stone. I've seen others obtain large lucky stones, and of course, I've seen some others that have gotten um, maybe a bit of uh, singing stones rewards as well other than the ones that's given uh, in the top left hand corner here of the operation so guys that's pretty much all the advanced information i have for you on valkyrie operation there shouldn't be any more stuff about it uh, if you want to ask about other stuff that i did not mention do leave it in the comment section of this video down below or on the facebook group post of this video um do like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed this video i don't know my channel <laughs> i'm tired guys i'm very very exhausted i need to head to work in just about two hours and i'm still trying to get myself uh, maintained in top 100 for this current ticketing event i'm very exhausted so guys do hit that like button and tell me that you appreciate the video effort that i put in and uh, do share the content to your friends out there who also play Utah Macross or maybe introduce the game to them and maybe they'll find the culture in their life. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and hit that bell notification icon to tell you whenever I upload a brand new video. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next Utah Macross video tutorial uh, which will be I guess soon after this one because I'm actually doing a compilation of uh, diva affections and what item is related to whatever text they say so guys I know a lot of you guys want that video up uh, as soon as possible so I'm trying my best to get it out as fast as I can but <sighs> so many divas so little days until then I'll see you guys soon bye